Huh. That's weird. I just saw a spider poop. Very weird. The secret life of spiders. I've seen it all now. Well, what are the chances of that uh, caterpillar getting out of the spider web? I'm down in a wood pile down in the back of the uh, backyard uh, where a lot of spiders would live, and I've never ever seen that before. I did see the spider before, uh, but I think that caterpillar is actually going to get out of there. Well, the spider's come out and it's coming in to do something with that caterpillar. I'm not sure whether the caterpillar... Ooh, ouch. I can feel that um, just by watching. There's a big bite on the back there. It's got to hurt. I'll be quite honest here. I, I think I'm on the spider side on this one. Uh, I think that caterpillar's days are numbered. Ooh. Ooh, camera's right on top of this thing. I better pull back a bit. Eh. Well, it looks like the caterpillar actually might have escaped. Uh, can you believe that, boys and girls? So, just when you thought there was going to be death and disaster, the caterpillar gets away. Well, that was the entree to this video. The caterpillar got away. Who would ever guess that? This video is about the struggle I had to make a video about the garden orb spiders that we have around our home in late summer. I had this fancy new Sony camera and I had some lights and I thought, oh, I'll just go outside and I'll be able to shoot these spiders making webs and doing what they do. No, 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 it's not that easy, Leo. These spiders had super spider attitude and they were playing hard to get. I didn't succeed until I totally changed my approach in the way I videoed these spiders, but nevertheless, take a look at my struggle here to get these spiders to perform. Okay, I have to work really fast here because this spider will get frightened and will stop doing what it's doing. And that is, of course, it's making its web or repairing its web from the night before. And it's a sort of thing, you can actually stand here and be mesmerised by the work that the spider does to make its web. I've got to laugh again, my little camera here is... The face detection thing thinks that's a face. Looking at the back end of the spider there. It's doing a bit of work around, but it's also a little bit spooked that I'm here. Actually a bit of a double feature, I've got another spider just behind me making a web as well and we'll take a look at that very soon yeah she's completely stopped the way these spiders protect themselves is they basically play dead and she might be getting into that stance right now while the lights on Coming in behind her here, you can see some of the web that she's made, and she's crawled into that little ball. And that's her defense mechanism when she feels she's threatened. And of course, there's a light here, and she's probably feeling quite afraid. I'm not sure how well this will turn out, but she's basically rebuilt a web going right around here. Half the web was there a little while back, and she's stripped it out, and she's basically starting afresh. Well, oh, and she's... Uh... Doing the bolt to the middle of a web, I don't know what she's doing. She's just going to sit it out there, I think. So she feels safer in the middle there. She's just gone to the middle and she's balling up again. So she's quite sensitive to being watched. Um, I've watched these spiders before, but I have never seen one that basically comes to a grinding halt as soon as there's lights turned on. She's very aware that I'm here. It's been three nights I've tried to come out and get her. And she just stops making a web when I come out. I have a real test for this camera to look at that spider web there. It's very, very fine uh, and it's incredibly intricate the way they do this web. Look at her there covering up her eyes. I think she's actually eating some web there. Uh, considering she's having a time out, let's take a look at the other spider behind me. Anyone have this problem with these wangle fangled LED work lights that cost a million dollars? I'm getting tired of buying rubbish lights, and um, these weren't cheap. Just gave it a good whack and it's actually come good. There's a bit of a trick for you. Okay, over in ring two, it's like a spider circus, isn't it? Uh, this is the other spider, which I believe is another a garden orb spider. And it's making its web. It's a much, much smaller one than the other brown beauty. Doesn't seem to be as hassled with the light. 
Well, it's a clothesline on the background, and to give you the size of that web there, uh, it's about the size of a very large pizza. The spider's just taking it easy, a little bit aware that I'm here. It's funny, the lights actually attract a lot of little bugs and moths and things. And I'm actually seeing some of them getting caught up in the web there. Now, if that spider's quick, it'll get a very easy meal, all thanks to the lights being here. Now, if I was that little bug there, I'd keep very, very still. That's a pretty, pretty dangerous place to be. That spider's quite hungry. Well, the other larger orb spider has retired while the lights are here. That's pretty common. Uh, she seems to be very, very picky on when she performs. Well, I'm going to give up. Uh, these guys uh, don't like playing in front of cameras. Try my best. I'll let them win. And actually, just as I was uh, putting stuff away, look who's out on the wall there. One absolutely beautiful leaf tail gecko. These guys live under our house and I see them all the time. Quite often they will change colour into the same colour as their environment and you can barely see them when they do that. They're harmless, they won't bite, you can give them a bit of a pat. He went, oh, he's taken off. <laughs> he did a little, little bark at me then, I don't know if you heard the bark. See if he'll do the bark again. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> Bye. There's actually another orb weaving spider just on the other side of this fence here. Let's see if we can spook it. Watch out, spider. Daddy's coming. Okay, this one's at face height, head height, like they always are. You walk around the garden, you get them in your face. Just hope I've got the ISO set correctly. Uh, this spider has got a reddish tinge. They're beautiful things, actually. They're hairy, but they've got multiple colours going on. It's more of a... Uh, bark colour, like if that was on the bark of a tree, like a gum tree You'd never know the spider was there and it's busy making its web. It's actually not being deterred by my light, although It might be a little bit scared at the moment Going to the middle of the web Yes, it's doing the classic um, wait and see While a big stranger of the light is here Oh, yes, the web is a masterful piece and they actually make these webs uh, very fast. They don't muck around when it comes to web making. Well, I've snuck down the back here and this is the big garden orb weaver thing. I've just got the torch. I hope it's not putting the stripy lines on. I think it's the incorrect colour balance, but maybe I'll fix it up. Maybe she won't be as annoyed by the, just the torch. Let me just change the ISO. She looks a little bit overexposed. Okay, maybe she's got ears and she can hear me talking, I don't know. There she is. Just put the web out. Oh, don't get spooked out, please. You're just proving to me how difficult it is to deal with nature. Oh, what is it with this spider? As soon as there's a bit of light around, I don't want to play. There's hopefully a nice view of underneath her. Uh, beautifully intricate insects. Oh, and she's starting to get spooked now. Oh. Come on, what is wrong with this thing? No, oh, no, it's going to ball up, that's the defence. I'm a threat, the big man of the camera and the light. I'm just going to do nothing now. Well, boo-hoo to you, sister. You're too difficult to work with. You're fired. Well, this is the smallest of the spiders, of the three that might be in this video. Who knows how it gets chopped up. There it is making its web, but for how much longer... It could stop any moment because it goes, oh, I'm not working because there's lights on me. I'm so special I've got to work in the dark. Then again, it might ignore me. The chances of that, zero. This one's quite tricky to video because it's actually quite small and now it's just stopped. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's spooked out. Yep, see you later, alligator. Don't come knocking on my door for a job because you're not going to get one. Go back home. Yes, well, um, shooting nature, it can be terribly rewarding and it also can be terribly frustrating. Um, I know people who do nature docos, they spend a lot of time getting the footage and then they might come in and get some CGI stuff added on top to make it look super special. That's how it's done these days, but that's a secret, boys and girls. Anyway, I better leave this video here. A bit disappointing. Thanks for watching and bye for now. And these spiders... They're not getting any more money. If they think they're getting more money, they can forget it. So another week rolled around and I got rid of my new fancy camera and I went back to one I've had for a number of years which had a little feature that helps me see things in the dark and doesn't scare spiders. 
And finally, I captured exactly what I wanted to see, and it was a real lesson to me that sometimes these new fancy cameras often lack little features that the old cameras have that are very useful.